A blood battle. Detroit firefighters take the city to court claiming new rules expose crews to HIV, hepatitis, and much, much more. It was a packed house today inside a Wayne County courtroom. The Firefighters Association wants a judge to stop procedures that make crews clean up blood and other bodily fluids at accidents and crime scenes. But the administration says this is nothing new. Sean Lay was in the courtroom today. And Sean, has the judge made a decision on this yet? The judge just ruled in what was a really fascinating day in court here, all dealing with this blood situation. The judge ruling for the city against the firefighters union, saying for now firefighters still have to clean up these bloody scenes. Firefighters union telling us tonight this case in battle is far from over. But this uh, washing down blood, no, we've done that. We have done it. The city of Detroit on the defensive after the union for Detroit firefighters say enough is enough. They're suing the city to stop city policies, telling firefighters to hose down bloody crime and accident scenes. The city's argument, firefighters have always sprayed away blood down into the sewer system. They have been asked to come and holds it down. It happens all the time. The union says a murder scene last fall takes the cake. Blood, brain matter, bloody rags on private property. The fire crew refused to hose it down, fearing hazards can splash into their mouths. In this case, a civilian EMS boss tossed dirt on all the blood and tissue. The union's lawyer says there has to be a better way. But that does not make it a part of their job and they are not trained to do that. Detroit Fire Chief Robert Disselrath even had to take the witness stand today and be questioned by his own fire union, saying crews are not trained in biohazard removal. Are there any courses there? Any courses? Do they train is there, that? Is there a course in washing down blood? No. Yes, no course yeah, in washing down blood. Where. Okay. Bottom line, the judge just making his ruling. He says firefighters still must clean up these biohazards, including blood, flushing them down the sewer. He says for now, the union says they are taking this to the state for arbitration. That hearing will be held April 25th. Jason, Sandra, back to you. And Sean, if the city says no firefighters have been harmed, washing away all the material and the blood and everything else, what does the union say about that? They said, look, we agree. There has been no harm up to this point. What they're trying to do is point out a problem to limit or uh, you know, head off any potential harm to the environment, to anyone in the community or any one of their firefighters dealing with this stuff. Yeah, being proactive. All right, Sean, thanks.